Alright. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It is your boy. Here to give you guys the Real Housewives of Atlanta review. Alright. Before we formally get into the video, quick church announcement. I'm going to be adding another segment to the channel. I know y'all just like, motherfucker, you do too much. So what I'm going to start off, like I said, what I'm going to start doing is in addition to Shout Out Saturday, I'm going to give you guys my uh, five fave Friday. Is fa yeah five fave Friday, or something like that. Fave Friday. yeah whatever. Triple motherfucking M. All right, I'm gonna give y'all my five favorite videos of the week. I will make sure I include the links. I'll talk about why these YouTube videos are my five favorite, and hopefully y'all check out those videos. All right, so enough with the church announcements. Let's get into this motherfucking review, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to do this video a little bit differently, kind of go back to something that I did this past summer. So I'm actually going to, I'm live tweeting, and I'm kind of going to go through my tweets and kind of give this to you guys really quickly. If you guys have not checked out my trending topics video, I will leave an iCard in the video. I believe like right here, it's right here, or right here. Check that out because I did talk about the whole fake tra and candy situation. Cause like I said, this all played out this past week. With that being said, <clears throat> Mama Joyce came on the scene. I was like, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. And, um, you know, Mama Joyce is talking about how, you know, she wanted to crib and everything in the house to take care of the child, which is good. Candy even says that she didn't really do a whole lot of this when it came to Riley. So almost kind of like, you know, um, <clears throat> correcting her wrongs, if you will. And now I'm going to say this, you know, what am I going to say? Got to, I took many notes. Um, and, uh, you know, Candy is looking for stuff for the baby room, and she was like, You know, I'm real late about getting stuff for the baby room. Because she was, you know, trying to work on all these damn projects, but unlike fake, just she got receipts for all these damn projects. Okay, yeah, I said it. So, you know, also real shit, I called it. Maybe y'all didn't catch it, but I'm gonna let y'all know that I called it. You know, Candace put her mama up to ask her, Hey, ask me about, you know, um, fake trip they talk about it and mama joy's whole thing is well maybe i should get involved i'm just like oh lord and even with that we all know that candace is not going to sit here and stop her mother so and it's one of those things where it's just like come on through you know it's nice that you know uh joyce and todd are getting along but again it's only a matter of time before we see another motherfucking spinoff they probably did a spinoff of the motherfucking birth you know it wouldn't fucking surprise me but i digress what else we got mm-hmm <laughs> All right, so we get Kenya twirling in Detroit. She in the airport. And, um, you know, honestly, I really don't feel that them showing this reunion on TV is good. I think this is something that probably should have just been taken care of, you know, in-house, internally. Because here's the thing, it's a real shit. Kenya and Candy, they are the two that they really don't need storylines, if we can be completely honest. They, and mostly Kenya, she can thrive off of somebody else's storyline and still be relevant, you know? So I don't really like the whole explo exploitation of family, but hey, I'ma have my popcorn and my tea and I'ma watch the shit, okay? But I will say in reference to, you know, Kenya, you know, I'm all for trying to get close and whatnot, but I'ma need her to let it go, let it go, if this shit doesn't work out. So I'll be back for more. Okay, so we have, uh, Noelle and Cynthia in Cynthia's closet. Noelle is shading her mom. This shit's funny as fuck. Now, the conversation that they're having, I think, is cute, but I think that Noelle is not yet young enough to, for, you know, Cynthia to be talking to her like she's a girlfriend. But hey, if that's how she does her parenting, it is what it is, because I know I'm be a little bit free spirited, but old school on the ass when I have kids. So, moving the fuck on, Kenya is uh, with her um, <clears throat> father and stepmother. Happy that they came. Her nephew is also there, too. So we're going to see what comes of that. But the father's like, we ain't doing no motherfucking crying. Okay, man up. All right, what else we got? All right, so Horsha is exercising. Now, I will say this. I can appreciate her exercise. But if y'all 
no, most of the time we watch these shows and girls, you know, be on here exercising. They have a beef face done up here and they ain't broke not one fucking sweat. So I'll give it to her for that. All right. I'll give it to her for that. But what I will say is she's selfish than a motherfucker. All right. She want to sit here and try to say that she's not selfish. Really, you not fucking selfish. When everything is revolving around, you know, your sister. And here's the thing. You can tell that she is not good when it comes to business. Let me talk about some real motherfucking shit. Because her team, you know, apparently her team, you know, they don't... Because here's my whole thing. If you was good with your business, yeah, you would have an assistant. But you would also have somebody else on your team that knows what the assistant does. All right? Just simple fucking management. Because when one piece moves, somebody else need to be able to cover the fuck down. And if not, when she, you know, this motherfucking sister got pregnant, why not go and hire you an assistant or a backup assistant to sit here and shadow you feel what i'm saying and you know all this clowning and whatnot and all some real shit even though i see the selfishness when i saw lauren laughing i got one or two vibes either she's laughing and laughing shit off or beat this shit as motherfucking the tribe but what i didn't like is when she stood the fuck up on her sister here's the whole thing shit shit happens but hey it was real shit my brothers and I, we if we gonna have a conversation, shit get heated. None of us stand the fuck up on each other. Cause we already know a motherfucker stand up is one of those things where it's like we forget we brothers for uh, the duration and shit can go left right the fuck real quick. I'm just saying, I wasn't here for it, and you know what I'm saying, you know what, as I've already said, y'all know I don't fucking see it for, for Horsha, y'all know I don't see it for motherfucking fake trip. Y'all know this. So y'all that watch me, y'all already know. Fuck that hope. Like I said, when she could step her pussy up and become a whore, then maybe I could sit here and honor her. But until then, no. Fuck no. And you know what? I'm going to get the fuck off here before I truly say what the fuck is on my mind. And I don't think y'all want me to do that. Okay, so y'all let me know if y'all want me to watch uh, The Real Households of Potomac. I don't know if I'm going to do it. And if I do, it's probably... I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm already wearing myself fucking thin. Empty way. So where the fuck did I did I pick up and leave off at? Motherfuckers, I don't remember. Okay. Actually, I ain't got lost in what I said before. Lord have me, Lord have me. Oh, okay, so. I wanted yours to give me some life because this show ain't giving me shit right now. And, you know, I like his the joys. I, it's a setup, y'all. Yep. I hope y'all caught this shit. The fact that Joyce wants her to sit here and do a baby shower for Candace. This, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Come on, Baba Joyce. Y'all know Baba Joyce on the motherfucking payroll. Come, come on through, Joyce. I'm going to let your ass live on that. But that look that she was giving fake trip, y'all, if Liz could kill. If Liz could kill. Like, Joyce was sitting here just like, mm-hmm. Because she was giving her that look like, I might be an old bitch, but try me. I was sick. She, you you will get drugged, too. You will get drugged, too. Yeah. But I want to see Mama Joyce on the reunion because after watching all this shit, I, I want to see Mama Joyce and Candace smooth go the fuck in. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. But Joyce, like, like I put this on Twitter, while you try to say a repetitive relationship, their relationship is just as dead as, uh, you know, what's her name? Horsha's fucking singing career. The shit's dead. Just, again, frozen. Let it go. Just, just let it go. What the fuck else happened? And they want to say invite everybody now. I want them to invite the members of the other members of Escape. That shit gonna be funny as hell. I will be all the way here for it. I'm trying to tell y'all now. And I, I, I'm, I'm loving Lauren. Shaded the fuck out her sisters. Oh, thank you with these grocery flowers. Come on through. Cause for her to sit here and be making all this motherfucking money. Oh, you gonna bring me these uh, cheap ass flowers? Okay, you mm -hmm, couldn't bring me no real shit. Come on now. Come on now. Exposing your sister for being cheap as fuck. She was spending all this money on her, but said fuck you to y'all relationship. Come on through. Come on through. My whole thing is, is I, I, you know what? I'm going to be a messy ass whore right now. I want Lauren to quit and go get hired by Candy. Go ahead and quit on your motherfucking sister. I guarantee fucking to you that shit will kill her ass there on some real shit. What else happened? And then I love how she was sitting here um, giving those receipts on her sister talking about so pretty much just letting her know like you mad because the shit that your ass wanted I got. I'm not the one going to a motherfucking fertility clinic, getting surgeries and doing all this other shit to have a motherfucking kid while you're trying to act like you don't want to have a motherfucking kid. You want to say that shit three years ago. Come on now, Lord. Come, come. come on now, Lord. Come on now. And then you know uh, Horace is talking about some I'm going to trade it all. Look, Demetri McKinney talked about that shit you don't want to sit here and trade it all mm -hmm. again it ain't safe in the world full of dumb hoes that's all i gotta say that's all i gotta say <clears throat> okay i do want to say that on some real shit with all the crazy stuff i've been saying watching kenya scene actually it took me back to <clears throat> just my life 
You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, again, if you guys want to watch it, I will also link a video to a video that I did pretty much how and why I cut off some of my damn family. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and even in watching it, you know, the father spilled the tea. Well, first he was just like, you know, something similar happened to me with my grandfather walking past me like I didn't exist. And at the same exact time, you know, I guess it was the influence where it's just like, I don't want to see no more illegitimate children in the house. So mom whole thing is staying good graces with the daddy. Let me go ahead <clears throat> and rid myself of my daughter. And even just watching it, the whole thing, even spilled the tea shit. Your auntie knew. I was like, oh, shit tea. But even just in watching, it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, because again, somebody sent me, I try to come for my ass on Twitter, but here's the thing, I like I can speak about a motherfucker letting it go because my ass ain't been there. You know, I ain't got to sit here and validate shit for no motherfucking body, but I know how it is to continue to open yourself up just to get shitted on. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard watching that because again, and watching that shit, it took me back to a place. So my heart goes out to Kenya for that. No shit. I'm not even going to front for y'all. Um... <clears throat> Uh, Todd, I want to know where your other assistant is. Sada, Sada, if y'all watch Candy Ski Trip, where, where that assistant at? Okay, let's get his ass on camera. Shit, let, let, you, let's get him a camera, you know, calm and, and fucking Don Wanna. Oh, come on, let, let's get, get the ass on scene. I want to see that shit. I'm going to need fake Trudis out, pretending like she ain't never seen the motherfucking video, and stop trying to sit here and lie about the motherfucking timeline and shit and while she's sitting here trying to tell him i'm gonna cut you a check shit let the blogs tell you you only paid his ass half of the motherfucking final balance again see this why see i do trending topics so i know this shit okay then she want to sit here and talk about jobs we ain't seen you do shit jobs related until actually she always seen you was in your office this episode last episode the mother like i said the motherfucker that was in your motherfucking office acting like he didn't know what the fuck to say what the fuck to do where the fuck shit was motherfucker looked like he was a motherfucker standing in that's all the fuck i gotta say about that uh right quick with the previews for next week um yeah uh nini yeah my face uh, i don't need to pick up because uh i mean i might need you to pick your motherfucking face and you know, your motherfucking raggedy ass, blonde ass motherfucking weave, and you might want to go back to your old motherfucking nose. But any motherfucking way, can't wait to see next week. Look like it's going to be good. All that good jazz. Kim will be her motherfucking feelings yet again. Them light skinned motherfucking feelings. I've been trying to tell you about that. What else going to be good? Ooh, I can't wait for Lo for Aunt Lori and motherfucking uh, Kenya to go at it. Oh, shit. Real motherfucking moment. I'm going to get y'all work out in New York momentarily. Okay, I'm going to get that to y'all momentarily. But, look, but the way this shit ends is on. Um, you know, uh, Kenya pretty much finds out that her uh, aunt is not there due to the fact that, you know, she, um, I guess, was upset about the visit to see the mother, all that good jazz. And, I mean, it just is what it is, you know, and that's pretty much it. So, we'll see everything else unfold next week. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for watching me. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, I gave you a little bit of life. And, again... Watch those two videos I linked in this video and come back for Workout New York after it gets done. So, I'll see you guys uh, for that video and I will see you guys next week for the same shit I might do Potomac. Potomac. How the fuck you say it? I don't fucking know. Peace.